Cancer, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from the universe. So it appears that something that meant something to you didn't go the way that you wanted it to, whether it be a relationship or a life-changing decision. Either way, you didn't get that job, you didn't get that lover, they didn't call you back, whatever it may be. Other, understand this, it's because it wasn't meant to. Because everything that happens here on planet Earth happens for you. This is a simulation we're all playing. And your angels and guides and your... and 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 everyone on the other side is kind of like, in a sense, controlling this whole thing because they have the ability to interject. They have the ability to stop or to pause. So whenever something doesn't work, it's because you've learned everything that you were meant to learn from that situation and it wasn't meant to go that far, right? So at the end of the day, just trust in what shows up for you because everything here, sometimes when it's that, when it's not sometimes, but when it's feeling conflicty or we're feeling like we're lacking, something didn't go the way we thought it was, right? I messed up. Why did I say that thing? Why did I make that joke? That was so stupid. They, they, they you know, whatever it is, right? All the reasons why we blame ourselves. Never, ever, ever, ever. It's always a blessing in disguise. This card reads, what appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayer. You'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. Cancer, you gotta trust, baby, because you're on your way. Your clarity will come. New ideas will come. But right now, you gotta let go. You gotta let go of what was, and you gotta recognize that something greater is coming. So, your affirmation for the day is... I am only trapped by my illusion. I'm only trapped by my illusion. So anytime I feel constrained or resistant, or I feel like something was supposed to go a certain way and it didn't, I always remind myself through this contrast, clarity will be had. Through this contrast, I am receiving clarity. Through this contrast, I am growing. Through this contrast, something great is coming, right? That's the words you wanna experience. Because right now, we feel like you're caught up in this notion that whatever you thought was going to happen and didn't happen, it was your truth that that was it. That was the end all be all. It was going to go like this. It was supposed to go like this and it didn't go like this. Right. And you know what? It's because it was meant to, not meant to be right. It wasn't meant to be. So change comes, right? So first we experience, you know, something not going the way we thought, right? And change comes. Right, that change is going to be present whether you experienced it yet or not. But big changes. That tower card is like that moment, you know, that that crashing of what we thought was going to be. We thought we were going to be this. We thought we were going to do this forever. It was going to be this career. It was going to be this person. Right? If it doesn't feel right, it's not right, beautiful soul, and that's going to refocus you. So the change will refocus you. Now the thing is, is that when you refocus, right, you're going to be in a different time space reality. So you're going to feel a lot of uncertainty, a lot of wobble. Right? Do I stay? Do I go? Is this right? Is this right? You're gonna be questioning your every move because you're now in a different frequency, right? But everything is designed for you to build strength. And that means that if you don't have an established practice where you are connecting to your internal state, right? So your awareness in life has to be either in your heart center or in your internal feel, right? Or your third eye, right? So up or internal, right? Both will work. Both will work right now for you. But remember, right? Everything is pointing you and bringing and guiding you forward to a time of greater clarity, right? But again, if you're staying stuck on this, this mishap, if you will, right? You're going to miss the, the change in where spirit's guiding you. You're going to keep revisiting the past. Well, this didn't work out. Well, what am I going to do? Well, well, what if I tried this, you know, to get this back or to make this better? But you see that only creates and establishes wobble because it's uncertain. Is it this? Is it that? If you just let all of that go, right? <sighs> Breathe that all away. You're going to realize that spirit's actually guiding you again towards a different focus, towards something that is more meaningful and, and more productive in your life, right? And the minute that you start to understand what that is, right? That's when you're going to let go of this energy that keeps you stuck, right? And you're going to receive clarity.
and that's how she goes, right? So whenever we're feeling unstable and we're not feeling like uh, happy in our relationship or there's a lot of, um, you know, internal noise going on with ourselves. Is this the right relationship? Is this not? Is this the person for me? Is it not? I thought we were going to be together forever. Now we're not. What did I do? Did I do something wrong? Any of the limits and the negatives that we feed ourselves with in regards to anything. It's again, all just an illusion. We're trapped by that illusion because we keep revisiting that same thought. When in retrospect, you get to create how everything goes. But if you're stuck on something, you got to let it go entirely to re receive clarity on it because you need to raise, change the way you feel in order to receive clarity. You got to raise your frequency. Remember what you think you become, what you feel you attract and what you imagine you create. And that's a quote from the Buddha. So remember thinking and becoming right. Whatever you think you start to become, whatever you imagine you create. But the key thing here is, you know, whatever you feel you attract. So if you're not feeling good, that aligns you with what you really want, then you're going to be stuck attracting things that really just aren't your truth. So you have to ask yourself, what am I attracting in? And if you're attracting in dud relationships, well, it's because you're not doing something for you that raises your frequency. You're not listening to yourself. You're not tuning into what you really want to do, right? Maybe it's starting that workout routine. Maybe it's staying consistent with connecting every day to spirit, right? You're just falling back into the same pattern of waking up, having your morning coffee, going to work. Won't work. Divine feminines, it won't work because you're too intuitive, right? Your energy is so open that you're going to walk into life and you're going to absorb energy from everywhere, from everyone. And without you having a practice where you connect with your, just yourself in your own energy, waking up early um, and cleansing your frequency through all kinds of things. I mean, you could automatic write. It's just sitting with yourself. It's just being, it's just spending time with yourself. Really is what it is. How do relationships form by spending time together, right? So if you don't have a relationship with yourselves, because you're not enough spending enough time with yourself, right? In a, in a space that's real. So you might, you might be, you know, spending too much time surfing the web, right? Looking up, you know, social media and going on the internet. Well, what's that going to do? You're just going to see all the influences around you. You're going to absorb all that energy. And you're not going to trust you're not going to trust yourself, right? Because you're looking at all these other influences. You just got to spend time with yourself. And whether you're masculine or feminine, it's irrelevant. We all have a divine feminine and masculine energies. The divine feminine energy is the energy of connection, nurturing, uh, communication. And the divine masculine energy is the energy of, uh, of action, right? You know, the masculine energy are doers, right? They do stuff, but without the connection of the divine feminine, what are they really doing, right? That's why... My divine feminines, our males need us. Okay. The males need us. And again, whether or not, whatever, doesn't matter what gender, right? It's whatever energy that you encompass most, right? Sometimes I'm the divine masculine and my husband's more the divine feminine, right? It's we, we counter reverse, but then we have to recognize what we're in. And I have to, when I am in the doer energy, right? And I could tell he's fully connected. I have to trust what he says because I can then trust, right? We can't just keep going and hope for the best. That's why uh, divine feminines, we have to be in, in tune with ourselves. Like we have to be like, you know, connected to ourselves, grounded within our knowing and trust ourselves so that when we do say something, right, our, our partners hear it, right? So, and vice versa, right? We got to be listening. We got to be listening and understanding what, what energy am I in? Am I doing stuff right now? And it doesn't seem to be getting me anywhere. Okay. You know what? I need to go connect or I need to go listen to someone that is connected. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's gotta be that understanding. Cause right now there are a lot of patterns that are being repeated, right? A lot of constant rep repetition here. So everything is about what you think about. Everything is about feeling an energy and just reacting to it, feeling an energy, reacting to it. So if you feel fear and then you react to it by overeating, well, there's a pattern there, right? So you want to get yourself, uh, understanding that you got to raise your frequency. You got to get yourself connected to things that leave you feeling joy, passion, uh, progression, empowerment, expansion, right? And whatever that is for you, it doesn't have to be something big, right? For me, there was a point where I would just started waking up early and spending an hour with myself uh, in, in sound healing or, or meditation. And then from there, I was getting guided into working out like, Oh, in the morning time, instead of sound healing, you know, I'm not getting as much as I once was from this. I'm going to go and work out. I'm going to get my morning workout in boom, got that done. You know what I mean? So it's, you just got to follow where you're being guided. The first impulse, you just got to follow it. Cause that's the start of the journey, right? And it's never going to be something hard. It's always going to be something from where you are. Wake up early and give that time to yourself. It will be the first start. The universe says to you now, your treasure is at hand. The universe says, sure, you can always find prettier, handsomer, skinnier, wiser, richer, younger, zippier. But more often than not, one learns the most, laughs the loudest, and smiles the widest with those they've already found 
especially when they stop looking elsewhere. Actually, Zipier is on quite a few lists. Tally ho, the universe. Stop looking and start seeing. See what's around you, but it starts with yourself. See you. No one's gonna see you until you see you. The acceptance you want, the love you want, the respect you want, that all comes from you, you being that for yourself. And once you see that within yourself, you see that in your outer world. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.